Well, I am just disgusted by this right now. I know you guys probably heard this from Alex Jones a couple weeks ago about the chimera experiments that they're doing. Experiments where they crossbreed people with animals in a laboratory in order to create some type of creature from which they can harvest organs to save human lives. I guess that's what the goal is. I don't know. It's like they're trying to find a loophole to create something that they can just kill and use its organs for. Because you can't just do, you can't just farm people and kill them, right? They're trying to create something that has no soul so that they can harvest it for body parts. Braving the funding ban put in place by America's top health agency, some U.S. research centers are moving ahead with attempts to grow human tissue inside pigs and sheep with the goal of creating hearts, livers, or other organs needed for transplants. The effort to incubate organs in farm animals is ethically charged because it involves adding human cells to animal embryos in ways that could blur the line between species. Last September, in a reversal of an earlier policy, the National Institutes of Health announced it would not support studies involving such human-animal chimeras until it had reviewed the scientific and social implications more closely. They won't support it, meaning they are not going to fund it. However, they're going ahead with these experiments regardless. Let's look up the definition for chimera, because it's a weird word, isn't it? A fire-breathing female monster with a lion's head, a goat's body, and a serpent's tail. So it's a monstrosity, basically. In a statement, they said that they were worried that there's a chance the animal might develop a cognitive state that could be altered if they ended up with human brain cells. They might be human. The, the argument is, are they sentient, and should we be doing this to them? It's, it's terrible. This is just awful. Scientists have begun such experiments with the support from other funding sources anyway, including from California's state stem cell agency. The human-animal mixtures are being created by injecting human stem cells into days-old embryos, then gestating these in female livestock. Livestock. Now, you would think cows, because we're supposedly very closely similar to cows with our DNA. There's been a lot of cattle mutilations lately, believe it or not. And being that they don't have funding to get these body parts that they're doing all these experiments with. And, you know, it's possible that these laboratories are going out and mutilating cattle just to harvest their organs and use them in the experiments, which I always thought was the cause of all the cattle mutilations. I mean, it seems like it. Now, if you go to the news and you go to cattle mutilations, it's been going on in Kansas. And these are precision mutilations. They've almost like, just like the classic ones where they said it was aliens. Well, precision no blood spilt just precision killed and parts of their bodies removed surgically just look into that it's been going on in georgia and kansas in this article they link to a presentation made at national institute of health's maryland campus in november it's a very interesting presentation but it's about six plus hours long And amazingly, it only has 672 views. This is where they're telling you everything. They're showing you pictures of the things that they've made, these creatures, these poor things. But they kill them, most of them. I think they have to kill them while they're still fetuses. I'm not sure what the rule is, but man, you you guys just need to watch this. It's disturbing. It's been out since November 6th and only has 672 views. But oh my God. So they're putting human genes into pig embryos and stuff like that and and then gestating that creature inside of the pig but they're also using multiple different animals at once like they're crossing quail with a chicken he's in this presentation somewhere turned out kind of cute and actually they allowed it to live embryonic stem cells okay so monkey embryonic stem cells can form monkey pig chimeras after injection into the pig embryos so monkey pigs, there you go. And I guess the pig would be the one to to carry that pregnancy. But they did something with monkeys and humans. Let me show you. Animal, such as monkey. This is ongoing work. We try to induce dolphin Parkinson disease monkey sperm. This month, similar work already, the maximum, the monkey received the cell trying to get some some change of the behavior. So that monkey received some type of human cells when it was in embryo or in vitro, whatever they call it. I don't know which one. Something like that. And um, yeah, that's what came out. It's a little monkey dude. This is just beyond disturbing. It's six and a half hours of what the fuck did I just watch? And I think you guys should take a look at that. That's 
you know, it's from the horses' mouths themselves. And the link will be in the description below. And you guys need to watch this. I watched it all night and I had bad dreams afterwards. I mean, I had weird dreams. It fucks with your brain. This is some messed up stuff to be doing. And it doesn't make sense. And they're not going to find a loophole for creating a non-sentient being that they can harvest organs from without without it being wrong. It's just wrong. And it's wrong to make these creatures that are going to come out, you know, feeling like they don't know what they are. Can you imagine how horrifying that must be? And, and, and then to be part human? I mean, wondering, what are you? That's terrible. It's absolutely awful. They should be doing something else with their with the little funding that they have. Like, I'm glad they don't have too much funding, but... You know, I'm sure they can find it. I'm sure there's plenty of secret investors who will help them out with this. They're also doing mice crossed with pigs, mice and pigs. I don't know how that works, but they're doing that. You know, it's, it's just, like I said, six and a half hours of what the fuck did I just watch? So you can skim through it, you know. Just wanted to point that out to you guys. Messed up times we're living in. Thanks for watching.